Hi, in this video, we'll be talking about the replication of RNA viruses. From the classification of the viruses, we understand that RNA viruses could be either single stranded or double stranded. In this particular video, I'll be talking about the replication process and the assembly process of single stranded RNA viruses. Inside the single stranded classification of RNA viruses, there could be positive sense RNA viruses or negative sense RNA viruses. A positive sense RNA virus and negative sense RNA virus use different strategy to replicate inside the cell and to assemble inside the cell. So we would understand the processes at the end of this video. So stay tuned till the end of the video. So let's talk about the replication of positive sense RNA virus first and then we talk about the negative sense. So the first step of the viral entry is attachment of the viral particle to a cellular receptor which is displayed on the membrane surface. Now the virus get adsorbed on this receptor. Then the second step is penetration. If the virus is enveloped there is, there is no problem. The envelope fuses with the membrane, but if the virus is not enveloped, it can also undergo receptor mediated endocytosis shown like here. And inside the uh, endosome, the virus particles, especially the viral capsids, viral matrix protein, all these things get disassembled because of the altered pH and the viral RNA gets out into the cytosol. Now, the enveloped virus, such as uh, HIV and influenza virus, they have ease of the access because they have envelope and it quickly fuse with the membrane and that that's allow the membrane entry very easily. Non-enveloped viruses has a little bit difficulty, but they also get inside by receptor-mediated endocytosis. Now, let's talk about what happens when the virus is inside the cytoplasm and it has released its genetic material into the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm, as it's a clustered RNA virus, its RNA is treated like an mRNA and it can be directly read by the cellular host ribosomes and it can be directly used to synthesize the proteins. So it is randomly translated and it would create viral matrix and capsid related proteins. Other side, these plus sense RNA works like a template and it's get uh, to a intermediate hybrid state, which ultimately gives rise to more plus strand RNAs. Now these extra plus strand RNA, either they could be used as a template for producing more viral proteins or they could be used to package into a viral new virus right now all the when all these things happen the packaging and assembly happens in the golgi apparatus and the endoplasmic reticulum and via the cell secretory pathway it gets out from the cell and ready to infect another cell and that's how a positive strand rna virus replicates inside a cell now let's talk about the replication of the negative strand RNA virus. Now the negative strand RNA virus can also enter the cell just like the positive strand RNA virus I, I said. The enveloped virus could directly fuse with the cell membrane or it could also fuse by receptor mediated endocytosis. Now after that there is a problem because in the negative sent RNA virus, the RNA is not detected by the ribosome. So the ribosome would treat that as an antisense RNA. So it cannot translate that. It's not like mRNA. So first step, it has to reverse transcribe to a positive sense RNA such that the viral protein can be produced. So, ho so host ribosome cannot detect it. But there are viral polymerases which are carried by the virus itself. Now the viral polymerase would create more positive strand RNA and as a result 
this positive strand RNA now can be translated using the host ribosome. It can create viral matrix and capsid, capsid proteins. And some of these positive strand RNA would further work as a scaffold to produce further negative strand RNA, which would serve as a genetic material. Now, after all this process, the assembly of the viral matrix, protein, and capsid would happen in the ER and Golgi. And following the cell secretory pathway, it would be released from the cell and it is now ready to infect another new cell which is not infected before. So, I hope this was helpful. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to comment at the end of the video. Thank you.